This is Shuttle Launch Control at T minus three hours and holding. Space Shuttle Discovery is poised and ready for action this evening as launch controllers oversee their data here in firing room four at Kennedy Space Center's Launch Control Center. Discovery performed flawlessly during its August 25th launch attempt before showers and thunder showers migrated into the Launch Pad 39 area and refused to leave before our 1.36 a.m. launch time. And then on our next attempt on Tuesday afternoon, while Discovery's external tank was being loaded with liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, launch controllers failed to receive the proper indication that a valve had closed in Discovery's aft compartment when they commanded it to do so. When the fill and drain valve, which is an important part of the main propulsion system's liquid hydrogen plumbing, failed to, prov to provide that proper signal, launch commit criteria required that the launch team cease filling the tank and begin to drain it back. Subsequent analysis indicated that the problem likely was not with the valve or its actuator, but instead with the valve position indicator, which is a microswitch sensor and a test plan was developed to prove that analysis. Wednesday evening, launch controllers cycled the valve five times and received the proper indications every time and noted that the valve opened and closed within the required time limit and within the time that it has on its previous 15 flights. The Space Shuttle Program Mission Management Team met on Thursday and determined that more time was needed to develop plans for how to resolve the issue in case we received the not closed indication when we attempted our launch tonight. At noon today, the mission management team again convened and ratified the plan that would allow us to look at alternative readings to ensure the valve closed as expected. But as it turned out, those plans were not needed because at around 4.20 p.m. the valve was closed and we received the proper closed indication. So that whole issue is behind us. And that sets the stage for tonight's launch attempt.